All right, and it looks like we are live. It's gonna be loud. Right with the new movie uh, that just came out with Jurassic Park, let's play some Jurassic Park games, which I did finally see in the theaters on Tuesday. Costs the devil to see a movie nowadays. Six dollars and sixty-six cents. Nice music here. Now this is a hard one because it's a uh, point-and-click adventure, and the puzzles can get uh, encrypted, encrypted. I hope I said that fucking right. A lot of puzzles. I'll show you the one where I got stuck on it. Now, I got this back in, I believe, 2004, around there. It had to be past 2003, because I got it off eBay. That's when I started on eBay. So I want to say 2004. Around there, maybe 2005. I remember I was still in high school, then I was asking somebody else who had played this game on how to beat the one part with the Triceratops. He didn't know. And that was before... YouTube before there was a fucking where you can see these walkthroughs here online. Now I think th they had some uh, written walkthroughs or just parts. They did say honk that horn. You you'll see when we get there about the triceratops and the horns. But uh, that's the pain in the ass. Let's just make sure everything's working. Make sure all the audio is working. Options, all that is uh, to change the uh, the controls. I like fire on B, travel on A, and the uh, item menu on C. They call it the Matrix before the movie ever came out. I believe this one came out in 93, and yes, I do have it CIB. I think I only got it for a couple dollars now. I, th I think it's still cheap now, like $30. Relatively cheap, I should say, in comparison to what the, the other games go for. But, uh, yeah, here's the box. Nice box. Hinges are broke on the bottom, but those can always be replaced. Now, the, uh data for this. I had basically erased everything to be able to load the game, but anyway, let's uh, start the game. You are heading to Jurassic Park. Your mission. Find the eggs of seven species of dinosaurs. I don't even have to write the goal on the bottom. Take the eggs to the visitor center and put them in the incubator. Work fast. You only have 12 hours. That's yeah, in-game hours. There is a timer. Uh, it speeds up when you travel between uh, areas. There's different... Uh, the amount of things depends on if you're inside buildings and shit going out. You survived the crash. But your life is still in danger. No shit. Alright, there are timers up there. 12 hours. Press start to see how many eggs you have. The ones that you have on you now are none. Dead if you uh, take too long to get to the in incubator, they die. And safe is how many are in the incubator. It's your ass, Dick Park. Yeah, they did that in the, the first movie. They had the mud up there, so it's a ass park. Oh, I want to go to ass park. There's girls on that island anyway. There's two, two, two sites. Make sure you go to the right one. Site B and Site A. You've got a T-Rex. Hey there, Emerald. So in this one, you are Newman from Seinfeld. Uh, no, you're just... Uh, it seems like it takes place after the uh, movie, and you're here to collect the eggs. Uh, it seemed like, like with the video games, they always wanted to make the second one before the second movie came out. Of course, it took four years to make the second movie. No, no one could wait. It's the hit movie in, of 93. And, of course, with the special effects, it would take time to make a second one. Oh, and I saw the new one. So, if anyone wants to talk about the new one, uh, Dominion. I've seen that one. All right, well, let's, uh, oh yeah, before we uh, get in any further, I want to show you the map to this game. It's a point-and-click game. Here's the map. We start at the uh, 
bottom center there that says start and hope everyone can see that we we start in the brachio area we're gonna make our way to the hub north but uh, we're not gonna go into the vi visitor center in the uh, well actually not the north uh, as you can see it's uh, sideways I want to show you the uh, map the fucking where's the map the map that the uh, designers gave out uh, here all right, here's the map the designers game out. Of course, you start on the uh, west side, but of course, I didn't have it that way. That's uh, too annoying. Yeah, so the uh, it's easier to just start in the south, so you know, go up, and go left, go right. But, but of course, with the compass, it'll look like this map here. But, uh, oh, wrong, wrong one. But uh, the map I made right uh, here is to make things easier for me on where to go. So I don't pay attention to the compass. So we're going to go uh, to that hub in the center. And then we're going to go south, which is, uh, le I'll just say left. We're going to go left. We're going to get the items in the Triceratops area. And then we're going to make ourself, ma make our way to the uh, right side of the map, to the Gallimimus and Dilophosaurus area. Get those eggs. And then head to the uh, visitor center to put them in. And uh, from there, I think we can uh, we can well, we can do a couple of things. From there, we can go go back to the Brachio area because we can't get the eggs there yet, or we can go to the Triceratops. But the the last place we're going is the Velociraptor area, which is in t the upper left corner. But uh, just pause there if you want to see uh, the layout of the map. All right, uh, test test. Uh, let me know if you can hear me just uh, fine, everybody, because uh, after last time, I accidentally hit the button on the uh, Super Nintendo portion. Some people couldn't hear. All right. Uh, point and click. Uh, wait until the hand comes up, then press fire. Opens that up. Let's grab ourselves the stun stunner. Now you can move around with the things uh, selected. You want to look left, pick up a rock. Watch the timer here. That's the only two things in this area. You basically uh, spin around in a 360. And then find the uh, areas you want to go. You want to go to the visitor center. Press A. Oh, good. good. Audio is fine. Always got to make sure with all the shit. The fucking computer bullshit. Always something to fuck up. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. You didn't say the magic word. This will be a little over an hour, of course, with me explaining shit. There's our... Ooh, they're looking at me menacingly. Now they got these little kiosks here. They tell you about the dinosaurs. CD technology, something you can't get on the other games. We've got, uh, what's this face in this game explaining things? I'll just let the, them explain. To operate this kiosk. Oh yeah, this that, uh, some of them need a CD derp. But the, there's another one, I think, for the compies to the uh, right of me. Yeah, we need that CD, so that then we'll get the Brachio eggs over there. There's where we came, that little thing. And here is our first key card that opens up the uh, computer room uh, that where we get this uh, lady that will tell us what to do, where to go. Uh, the key card system is a hierarchy. The, the higher the level, they'll, they'll open the uh, doors under them. Weight is the lowest, only opens up the, uh, the uh, like I just said, the uh, computer room. I don't need that. I believe the Triceratops key is the top level opens up everything. So if you get that one over the uh, blue card, which I'll be doing later, that'll some slight buffering issues. Fuck, hate that. As long as you don't have on uh, a pot leaf shirt. Yep. Compi is one of the old-time old old smallest dinosaurs, about the size of a coyote, 10 pounds. Fossil footprints show, Fossil that, footprints show that compies traveled in big packs, up to a dozen or more. Compies were as fast as coyotes, maybe 30 miles an hour. They had very sinuous bodies. They loved to move in underbrush. Compies had sharp claws, long toes. They could climb trees real well. 
Pack hunters, usually pack hunters usually nest in groups, so did compies, and they would defend their nests in groups, too. And he gives you four trivia facts uh, when you come to these kiosks. Sometimes they uh, help you to do things uh, to get eggs and shit. But uh, Yeah, I put the uh, CPU usage for the OBS top priority. Hopefully that would help from, uh, from last time. Hopefully it's a little bit better. Right now we're gonna head to that hub. Some rich guy with the sheet wearing pot shirt gets taken out by a brachiosaurus. Yep. All right, here's the, that key I was talking about. I won't be needing that for right now. We get the pliers at the visitor center to get that out. But we're gonna go a different way. We're gonna go to uh, to the uh, south side, which is left on my map. To the which leads to his an another hub for the, as you can see, the three dinosaurs, T-Rex, Triceratops, and Velociraptor area. Up, oh, see from the movie. Get ourselves the wire cutters there. That'll be useful for later. Don't be alarmed, kids. You can't harm us. It's down in the pit. Yeah, now people have a problem with it. They say, oh, a pit just uh, appeared. But it's, but what happened in the movie, it seems like uh, there's a uh, pit to the left, whereas on the right, it was flat ground, and they're right on the edge of the flat ground. Uh, if you see where the uh, the T-Rex escaped, escaped towards the, uh, the back car, then it moved up to the front car, and the front car was pushed off into the pit. It's not that hard uh, uh, to figure out. See, it wasn't all just a flat ground or all in, uh, in a pit. Uh, anyway. Now let's see the Triceratops info. Triceratops was the most Triceratops dangerous, most dangerous plant eating ever. animal that ever evolved. Hey there, Game Survivor. That's what they want you to think. They <laughs> they want you to think those pirates didn't eat those tourists, but they did. They did. Big cover up by Disney. Triceratops had very, Triceratops had very strong legs. It could accelerate in the charge right away and hit a top speed of 30 miles an hour. The Triceratops head was huge and heavy, but perfectly balanced. It could whip its long horns in any direction. Triceratops had a strong bony frill that protected the neck. All around the frill were sharp edges. When it swung the frill, it was a deadly weapon. Dinosaurs and birds have a lot in common for life today. Maybe the dinosaurs did too. Like birds today, some dinosaur parents might have been fiercely protective of their young. There are so many eggs in one nest, it looks like two or three or four females got together and laid in the same place. Coding overload, consider turning down. Uh, I did that as best as I could. If somebody could tell me how I can turn down the coding settings. status is poor. Maybe maybe uh, the video bit rate I gotta turn that down. It's at 2000 if anybody... Yeah, I also like a Zombie U. That's one of my favorite games. Uh, there's all right now. They we can't. We need the bolt cutters to go into the T-Rex area. That way to go back. The Triceratops area, which is where we're gonna go in a second, and over to the right here, Velociraptor. In this uh, second hub. All right now in this uh, area, the Triceratops area. 
look up at the tree, get a branch of, uh, well, just a branch. I was gonna say a branch of food. Well, food for the, uh, this Triceratops here blocking the way to the box. That, uh, makes it piss off. Now, we're not gonna, we need the crowbar to open that, so we're not gonna go there just yet. Oh shit, this is where we can, this is the puzzle that usually gets me killed. Honk the horn. As you see shit comes out. When it turns its head, honk the horn again. If you don't honk the horn, it kills you. Then it fucks off uh, for a second, but uh, don't dilly-dally shilly-shally. We need to put, put the injector. For some reason that uh, unblocks the way and uh, this fucking thing stops its charge at us for what it, it encrypted fucking puzzle there that that took me the longest time to figure out couldn't just be hit hit it one oh yeah i'm supposed to look at it first derp get closer then you use the crowbar then you got the triceratops key yeah Forward again, we're gonna go to the main hub, center of the map, world map. Is this copies again? Oh, Gal Mimus and Doll Officer. Gallies are the fastest dinos on the island, up to 50 miles an hour, and one of the smartest. Gallies had front claws like grizzly bears, long and straight, great digging tools. Gallies could dig prey out of their burrows, and they could use their claws to dig very deep nests. You can also dig into your fucking head. Gallies had a stiff torso, stiff tail, like a T-Rex. They couldn't maneuver in dense forest. Gallies could attack you with the long reach of their forepaws, and they could kick you with their hind feet, too. There are some modern bird species that try to sneak their eggs into another mother's nest. If the mother detects these sneaky eggs, she can roll them out of her nest, and that could have happened with the dinos. Hint, hint. Let's check out the Dilophosaur kiosk. Interactive CD-ROM. I don't know why people have a problem with that line in the movie. You've never had a CD-ROM where I had an interactive game? I mean, I, I connect the dots. If somebody can explain that, what the problem with the line is for me. I'd like to know. The animal with the best poison delivery system is the spitting cobra. Could some dinosaurs spit? Could be. Fossil footprints show that dilobes hunted in pairs, top speed about 35 miles an hour. Dilobes had big crests on their head. And maybe they had crests along the neck, too, like a lot of birds and lizards do. Neck crests can be a warning. Birds and lizards flare their crests when they're about to attack. Mm, that's wh that's why they how they figured that out. Why they put that in? So yeah, so, some of these things that you, you wonder how 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 do they know they had that with, by through fucking bones? Dilophs had bodies built like compies, long, flexible, great for swimming. Dildo Phallosaurus. Yep. Alright, now uh, we gotta scare these Dilophosauruses. Uh, yeah, with the stunner, you charge it up to get the most uh, power. Grab its eggs. Oh, we gotta grab a rock again. Another one. There's a couple rocks in this game. Now, later on, I'll tell you. The, that way you can get in there. 
Alright, there's a Dilophosaurus area. We're, not, we're going to the Gallimimus area first. Which is, uh, where the hell is it? Oh wait, the Dilophosaurus was on the left. That's our way back. See, it gets confusing. Up this trail. The, the one I was looking at, uh, that's the way back. The log is to the Dilophosaurus area. Now the puzzle here is to push that. And then they open up the next area and grab their eggs. But why, why do you always gotta press things a couple times? That, that, uh, that, that makes the puzzles hard to figure out. Just like the horn three times. Now to get your, this tool bag down, you need the wire cutters. And that gives you the wrench right here. Then we use that to open this over here, but uh, we don't need it right now. We need it to get to the on the other side. Come back on the other side. Let's see what we have. We got we got uh, a lot of Gallimimus eggs. You just gotta get one of each type. Uh, you don't have to get so many, but uh, we'll take them. Uh, Alright, uh, we can't go up there with the dinosaur block in the way. We gotta shoot the frog, and then he eats it and fucks off. Now we can go up. Uh, let's see what was over here. Oh yeah, over here is the bolt cutters. We need that to get to the T-Rex area and uh, get some other things. Now here's the other side of that. I don't... I'm just wondering. I don't think we can get back if we don't open that up. So, as you can see, I don't see the uh, moving thing. So I guess if you don't open that, you're trapped here. Not 100% on that. But uh, as you can see, I can't see the arrow on the way back. Now we gotta be quick here, there's gonna be a little douchebag throwing sand in our eyes. There we go, so you gotta charge it to get some, uh, to fuck it up. Then we head our way back, we're gonna go to the Dilophosaurus area since we're here. We'll have enough time before they start uh, freezing and dying. That is the Dilophosaurus area. Fast, you just get the items. The items in the truck, we got the uh, gas in the Jeep. And uh, looking here, uh, I think that's the Brachio CD and the Compy eggs. Now, to uh, you gotta hold it down, hold it down, don't again, yeah, not just pressing it once and it fills it all the way up. Then you can ride the raft, and this is a dead end area. We're gonna look to the left, get the eggs, get your get the med kit, and then get the fuck out of here. Don't bother wasting your time trying to shoot them. Just fill up, you fill up the gas, and get the hell out of here. I believe that that med kit is uh, you can constantly reuse it, but I don't think uh, at one time. Like if you stay there, you gotta come in and come down. Uh, the hell out of here. No, right. Visitor Center also has a med kit you can constantly refill as well as refill your stunner. Alright, you see that guy's block blocking the way, but uh, fuck that. Always making sure that mic's working. You never know when you might trip over the mute button, which is on the ground. They fucked it up designing this mic. It should be up here. Now we're at the visitor center, but I guess they think you'd come here earlier. The uh, other key card out of the uh, key card thing.
Oh, it says it wants to go higher. Higher bit rate. You know, let's see if we can change that right now. Bit rate output 450. 4,500. All right, before I change this, uh, let's see if... I'm going to shut this down in a second and then restart it. All right, I'm, I'm looking at the thing. It says... Uh, what I was doing wrong was have to get bit rate uh, lower, too low. They wanted it higher at 4,500 uh, kilobytes parsecs bullshit while well, I put up to exactly what they said anyone still out there you know what let, let me if it is it still good otherwise I'm just gonna restart from, uh, I'm just gonna start it over again from here uh, I'm not gonna quit it fuck it You are heading to Jurassic Park. Yeah, that's that. I played this so many times before, and now it seems to be freezing up on me as soon as I stream it. Hey there, Sunny. Oh, I'm doing well, not too good at the moment. We uh, it froze for a second, so we're restarting it now. Uh, but we did figure out that it needs more ki kilobytes for a better str better stream. We're not going to shut it down, we're just going to go like this. We're just going to skip the kiosks that we already seen. It seems like I, I did a practice run of this game, I played it multiple times. The time I go live, then there's fucking freezing. Somebody explain that to me. Test, test. I changed that, the options. You are heading to Jurassic Park. Your mission. Find the eggs of seven species of dinosaurs. Take the eggs to the visitor center and put them in the incubator. Work fast, you only have 12 hours. End game hours. You survived the crash. It looks like the stream's much better now that I changed that. Yeah, yeah 4,500 uh, kilobytes or whatever the fuck it is. Open that, get the stunner and the rock. That's the only thing here on the beach. Then we go this way. Alright, got the brachios over there. Can listen to the kiosks, which we already did.
Alright, now we're at the central hub and we can get to anywhere at this point. There's a key card in the uh, slot reader, but we need players to get it, which are inside in the toolbox. But we're going to the left side of the island, south side. We gotta get some important tools. Get the uh, wire cutters here, but we need bolt cutters to open this on up. Pits on the left side, and there should be flat land over here in the movie. Yeah, if you saw the T-Rex came out over here, went up to the front car, pushed it over down into the pit. Alright, this area, get the branch. Give it to this one so it fucks off so you can get over there, but we need the crowbar to get uh, the, key, the Triceratops key in there. Oh, that all also opens up the uh, door over here in the bunker. Alright, here's the hardest puzzle that I couldn't get through. It took the longest time to figure out. You hit it, uh, the horn, it hits this. Wait until it looks at you. Press it again. Hits it again. Press it again. Now you only got a few seconds before it tries to charge at you. You get a injector in the Triceratops. Now we now we can go in there, but we don't have to go there now. And now the Triceratops won't attack you. Encrypted the fucking puzzles here. It should just been honk the horn once and all the shit came out. And then you got a few seconds to put it in. Said three fucking times. I hate how you can't do 180. It uh, spins you around. Now we're heading back to the central hub. Going back to the Gallimimus area and Dilophosaurus, get, getting those eggs. Don't tase me, bro. Alright, grab the rock. Put it on that. We'll be coming back here later so we can cross to the Dilophosaurus area. Gotta go up uh, this uh, wooded trail. Another one. One, two, three. Why three times? It should just be one time. That opens up the path over there. Alright, we need the wrench to open that up, that tube. Now that we got the wire cutters from the uh, truck, now we can get the wrench. Open this up over here. We gotta do the same thing for the other side. Yeah, so we can come back here. That uh, a lot of that I think that's the most uh, eggs we get is the Dilophosaurus. I had to cross up the way that the Gallimimus is blocking, shoot the frog. It eats it. And it says we don't, we're s still shitty. when you're looking, bitch. Get out of the way. Get the bolt cutters. As far as I know, we can't go back the, the other way. Otherwise, if we didn't have to open that up, we couldn't uh, go back as far as I know. to take it out. And now we're gonna head to the 
we'll have the source area across the uh, log over there. Just quickly grab the shit you need. Down. I said just hit it once. Uh, makes things more annoying. I said just hit it once. Confusing. Grab their eggs. Get med kit. And then get the fuck out of here. This is a dead end area, so don't. Uh, Well, I suppose they want to make it tense. You gotta wait a few seconds while you're getting hit by those Dilophosauruses. Sor sources, source eye, or whatever the fuck is the fucking plural. Alright, this time I am, I'm not gonna go for those tranquilizers once we go into the. I'm just gonna save first. Save often, kids, so shit like that doesn't happen to you. Look at this MFMB pre rendered CGI. First, we, first things first, we gotta get them into the uh, incubator. Yeah, the blue key is supposed to open this, but we got the better, high, the higher hierarchy of the key cards. Now you're always pointed uh, straight ahead, is because it looks like you just the door we're looking at looks like the one we just came into, but that's a different door. So you never turned around. Oh, right, we need. Oh shit, we need the card. Turn it on. There we go. We got. Look at that. We got uh, three different types: Gallimimus, Compi. There's Compies are all over. I think there's. They're also at the Raptor area. They're also Brack area. It seems like they're all over the place. Those ones are easy to get. There's that med kit. Open this up. Here's a tranquilizer. It's uh, faster on. I think it's medium power, unless if you charge the stunner up. But of course, that takes. Uh, that's longer to get the full charge. The bet more power. Well, let's see where we just. All right, we got all the uh, T Rex, Triceratops. Yeah, we need the Triceratops for the uh, to get into the. Uh, there's a door that we gotta open up with the code and. We gotta go to Muldoon's area, uh, room. There's only three rooms up up here on the second floor. Alright, we got 44 here. Now we're back to 60. Gas grenade, you only got two shots, the most powerful thing. Uh, I use it for in the Velociraptor area and the, the hunters at the end of the game. Night vision, we, we need those to get into the Velociraptor area. Now we get our code here. Remember that, everybody. Remember that. And if you didn't have the CD, just look at the security camera here.
All right, it's the other computer. You use those on, and you'll get a secret message. I'll be back there when I get uh, more eggs. We definitely want to save. We don't want any more freezing going on. Alright, here's where we get some hints on what to do. Shimura. I'll be your contact on this mission, so keep an eye on your message light. It means I have new information for you. We were worried when our telemetry showed that your helicopter crashed. But as long as you're not hurt, keep going. We're pulling you out as soon as you've got at least one egg from each dinosaur species in the incubator. I'll check on you again in a couple of hours. Oh, and uh, by the way, good luck. Bad news. Bad news. We picked up a blip moving toward the park. We don't know who it is, but it looks suspicious. San Jose Airport Security caught someone trying to sneak out through the perimeter fence. Someone paid him $500 to tape a little box to the helicopter you flew to the park. It must have been an explosive. That's why you crashed. And now an unidentified aircraft is moving toward the island. This is serious. This is serious. Don't waste any time. We have to get those eggs off the island as soon as possible. I'll call back as soon as we know more. I just uh, moved up the kilobytes. Hopefully that did it. everything better. Try to see our top code. Bottom left, bottom right, bottom center, bottom left. I hope the code is kept in mind. Yep. Alright, I just upped uh, up the kill. Alright, it says we're in excellent shape now. Uh, let me know if it's uh, choppy. Me again. Make sure you move the eggs quickly to the incubator. The longer an egg is away from its nest, the colder it gets. If it gets too cold, the baby dinosaur can die. The incubator keeps the baby alive until you're ready to leave. Got it? Yeah, this is uh, a very important mission here. You're not paying attention too well. Ah, uh, you have this too? Yeah, it, the, the the part I got stuck on was the triceratops part. A triceratops part, but I already just I did that. Yeah, it takes about an hour to beat this game. Well, if you know what you're doing, it took me a while to beat it when you figure out the puzzles. Yeah, the P yeah the PC games they are, they, those are even more encrypted with the puzzles. Yeah, no, no fucking logic behind them. It's all random bullshit. All right, now we use the bolt cutters to open this on up. Oh, being uh, fucking got precise location. Now we got the motion sensor. Now, oh, who the fuck is this? Always being oh, someone calling me.
All right, uh, open this. We got more tranquilizers here. You want to save the, well, save enough for the ending. But uh, you can also use the gas on the, the you got to fight four hunters. They have guns. Well, the biosyn, I'm, I, I'm assuming they're biosyn. I think we'll go for the Triceratops, get their eggs. I might risk and also get the Brachiosaurus. I'm not, I, I don't think I ever had the, the eggs die on me. But then again, should I really risk it? I should immediately take it to the, uh, the visitor center, because you never know. Alright, now first things first, we gotta kill these Dilophosaurus in here. We go left, get the trank. I think it takes two. Now we, now we got uh, got to close up the uh, steam for the other. There's two doors. The elect uh, the electric one, I believe, is where we came from. And these two don't want to open. Right. Uh, oh, this lever right here shuts down the electric and for some reason now this one opens uh let's see what do we have here uh all right that now we don't need that i don't i don't even know what the fuck that is i think it's a lower key card but uh triceratops is higher hold on to your butts i don't even know what key card that that that's supposed to open here we go oh <clears throat> Here's, here's where the key, the, the code is. Bump, 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 bump. There we go. That opens that other door that we're supposed to go to. Uh, this one. Now let me just see the, uh... Where's that the way we came? Oh, I, I even forget where the fuck I'm supposed to be going. Oh yeah, the music's really good. Yeah, let's go this way. Yep, made it. Picked the right way. Oh yeah, yeah. oh yeah, cause uh, yeah, I, I get now I get confused on the perspective. Right here, what we gotta do is we gotta wait for the uh, Gallimime, the, the copy to take the uh, eggs from. Uh, oh, don't forget our rock. Never forget the rock. Wait for the. Uh... Wait, no, is that? That, that. Oh, oh. There we go. Now we got the egg, and that's how you get that. To get the egg from the. I right, just making sure I got all got all the rocks. Now get the fuck out of there before we try. Because if you try, I, try, I think if you try and get in there, you get fucking rammed in the ass by the triceratops. A lot of these things you gotta be quick. See uh, the perspective, because the way you're, I, I always assume that you're looking at the uh, the door you came in. I, I forget. I, the, some games are like that. That's why I forget uh, which way it turned around. Take it back to the giant barber's hall. Oh yeah, the music is uh, so fucking whimsical and so happy. You think nothing bad's gonna happen to you, but all of you got gonna get fucking rammed in the ass by killed by the Triceratops. A false sense of security. Hey. Yeah, take it back to your giant Barbasol product placement. Yep. Oh yeah, that's in the new movie too. Yeah, I finally saw Domination. Uh, no, that's not the way, or is it? Uh. All right, good. We're going the right way. You know what? I'm gonna risk it. I'm gonna risk it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get the uh, fucking Brachio now that I got the the CD.
now we can now the compies got laid their eggs here. Also another timing thing. Now that we got the CD, we put it in here. Oh, and didn't see any of the new ones. Yeah, I saw all the new ones in theaters. Of course, they're not as good as the first movie. Brachiosaurs are really loud. They have an echo chamber built in their snout, where their nostrils are, and when they blow noise through there, their sound is tremendous. Brachiosaurus was the biggest dinosaur, up to 40 tons in weight. That's as heavy as 10 elephants or five school buses, and Brax would go 100 feet long, nose to tail. This is the slowest dinosaur in the park, 20 miles per hour tops, as fast as the average human. Now Brax can rear up on their strong hind legs to reach high in the trees. Brack feet are really compact, so they can get bogged down in mud, it slows them down. Good to know. Brax have weak teeth, blunt claws, and a small tail, but they can crush you flat under their huge feet. Brax chewed leaves with their stomach stones, and you could hear a constant rumble of digestion noises. Baby crocs. Baby crocs and gators have a special alarm call that makes the parents come running. Maybe Brachiosaurus had a similar system. Oh, isn't that scary? And th that moves them out of the way. Now we got the eggs. Now we can get the hell out of here. Go back to the incubators. Jurassic Park. I have got. Alright. Even though, of course, the top priority one is the Triceratops one, so. It doesn't show up. Highest level key card opens all the ones below it. And uh, you can't go into the doors over to on the right down there. There we go, we just gotta get, uh, try Ceratops and Velociraptor and get off the fucking island. Alright, we definitely gotta need more health. Those Velociraptors, uh, one hit will take down half your life, so be aware of that. Oh yeah, before we go, let's, uh, the little fucking Easter egg here. Oh, we can look at the computer. I forget what's on the computer. Alright, I'm pressing the buttons. It seems to do nothing. It, it, it just shows you the uh, locations of uh, where they're at. Not but not really useful. That sounds like Newman getting eaten, speaking of which. I haven't seen uh, Land Before Time in a while. And they, they made like 15 million uh, direct-to-video fucking sequels. Definitely haven't seen all of them. Don Bluth Pro Productions. Low Rent Disney. 
Yeah, pretty hardcore. Yeah, Newman, uh, his death is much, uh, more vicious than the, uh, novel there. Of course, we gotta save kids, save often. Uh, the mission objectives gives you hints on what to do. When Dr. Sattler was on the island, she helped Dr. Harding, the veterinarian, with a sick triceratops. He worked out a treatment for the illness and carried injectors in his Jeep. Dr. Harding also told her not to honk the Jeep horn at the triceratops. Said it drives them nuts! Yeah, there's the hint. Use the fucking horn. It took me a while to figure you have to do it three times. Said so just the one. It's like... By the way, Dr. Grant told me that the CD for the Brocky kiosk is somewhere in Wu's office under lock and key. At the end of the CD, there's a baby call, and every time they played it, the Brocks came galloping up. Uh, hint, hint, we already did that. More bad news. We've got positive ID on that aircraft. It's a helicopter registered to Biosyn Corporation. Those are the guys who hired Nedry to steal the dinosaur DNA from the island. Yeah, it looks like they're trying again. We're getting some interference. Hello, nice of you to join me. I represent... Well, I guess it doesn't matter who I represent now, does it? Our people will arrive on the island in three hours. And we're after the same thing you are. So just stay in the visitor center. It should only take us about 30 minutes to complete our work. We don't want to hurt you. But if you get between us and those dinosaur eggs... Well, I couldn't guarantee your safety. Just leave the eggs alone and stay out of our way. Fuck you. Alright, so it is Biosyn. Yeah, I don't really watch the fucking video things. Apparently 14 and a TV show and like 14 games. Yeah, uh, uh, I'm not sure what you're referencing there. Oh. Maybe I should turn the other way so you can see that final wall. There's nothing over here, it's just a uh, wall. Yeah, or some computers. As far as I know, you can't do anything to the left and right. But uh, it's there and you can't uh, 180 by pressing... Oh, don't even need a key to come out. It's after you get uh, the objectives done, then they come at uh, the three hours. Doesn't matter. I will go to the T Rex the now. Oh, oh, land before time. Yeah, talking about different things. You forget what uh, what topic we're on. Land before time. 14. I think I stopped at like 4 or 5. But that's when I stopped getting those VHSs. <laughs> 14 games. I didn't even know they had any games. Alright, now. T-Rex. Did we, did we? Oh, yeah. Well, since we haven't seen this one. I heard of uh, Willy Beamish, but I, I've never played that one. First voices on CD-ROM. Tyrannosaurus Rex had the strongest bite of any meat eater. Its forehead was four feet wide. T-Rex had a double-jointed jaw. It could open its mouth so wide it could swallow an entire Guernsey cow. T Rex had armor piercing teeth. It could crack a triceratops neck in one bite. Oh, edutainment titles. Double jointed jaw means it can suck big fucking dicks, too. T Rex could charge at 37 miles an hour, faster than the fastest rhinoceros. 
The Eisen T-Rex faced directly forward. It had great depth perception. Ears were good too, but it couldn't hear the high frequencies. I thought I couldn't see shit that didn't move. Point and click Sierra games. Yeah, I have. Uh, I had the police quest to Sierra games. T-Rex had a pecking spot right on the cheekbone where they'd try to bite or scratch in ritual combat. You had a T-Rex you wanted to control. If you hit it real hard on the pecking spot, you might subdue it. How the fuck are you supposed to know that? Through looking at bones. But there's the hint there on what we're supposed to do. We're supposed to shoot with a stunner. The st char fully star charged stunner is more powerful than the, uh, the uh, tranquilizer, but the uh, tranquilizer has like medium power instantly as opposed to charging. All right, now we can get in. Let's get, uh, yeah. Project Iceman. I don't believe I played played that one, but. Uh, I remember that name. We're supposed to come out this way. Now we put our card in, then we're attacked by the T-Rex. Uh, that's our way back. Like I said, uh, that's the way back where we came. I, I, I figured it'd be like... It's hard to tell where you're at, cause how big the uh, 3D is uh, with the 2D image. But uh, that path is the way back. You'd think it'd be like a, a rope leading up to the uh, fucking fucking thing, but uh, not the case up 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 the uh, fucking pit, but no. Opening sequence initiated. Door will open in 30 seconds. 20 You gotta bring his head up and then uh, you go in. Don't bother changing your weapon. Now open up the uh, left door and be quick about it. I dropped the bear horn when the T-Rex charged me. There's there's a button right there. Alright. Trank. Get in there. Our exit's through there. I believe you can go down the, the stairway, but I forget if we get attacked by the T-Rex or not. But uh, we're just going to go the way that I, my practice run did. Go down the other tube. The shithole tube. Alright, that's our way back. Grab the air horn. Now, as soon as we grab those eggs, we're going to be attacked. Oh, shit. Hit that. Wait until it's up, then use the air horn. Then get the fuck out of there. That brings it back so you can go in. Oh, code name Ice Man. Alright, now we gotta hit the other button. Came out of that uh, shithole tube. Why we chose Enchilada Knight, I will never know. We're going down the Velociraptor area. We gotta bring these eggs back, get some more health. We definitely want full health. Can only be a hit once by the Velociraptors. Gets two hits, you're dead. Even with the uh, screw up, where it's uh, we're a little over an hour, and we're almost done with the game. Yeah. Now, of course, it'd be longer the first time through, it, and especially the time period I did when you had no uh, video walkthroughs. Trying to figure these fucking puzzles out took the longest. Oh, don't, 
this is the one we, we want to go to. I hear fireworks going out. It's almost 4th of July. Hey there, Lenny. Ever play this one? Yeah, the loading times. Although they're not too, too bad. Although it makes you think the game froze. Oh, you finally beat Hexen? That's, that's a hard one to beat. Now we got two eggs, T-Rex eggs. We just need the Velociraptors and we can get the hell out of here. Yeah, so we can keep uh, refilling our health there. Oh, you couldn't be in a one stream. Yeah, yeah, it's a long one. Yeah, that's what she said. Yeah, I forget how long it took me in one stream, like seven, eight hours. Yeah, it'd be best to uh, break it up into parts of the e each hub world. I forget, what was it? I forget how many hub worlds were there. Five, seven, something like that. Yeah, it's been a while since I played it. I can always watch my streams to remember. Oh yeah, yeah. There's, it's like each one has a hub world and there's sub worlds in it, and, and it's multiple of them. I thought that it was just one big game. I thought it was to be in that one area at the beginning of the game. I thought that was it, just that one and the worlds around it, and uh, that's the game. But no, you go to another hub worlds. We're losing it. We're losing it. We found another helicopter to pick you up, but Biosyn got to that one too. There's nothing else that can reach you before they get there. You're stranded. Okay. Okay. We know that Biosyn's chopper will be landing in the next few hours. Collect as many of the eggs as you can before they show up. I'll try to arrange some sort of a backup transport. Hang in there. Yeah, I like the 64 one because uh, dealing with PCs is a p pain in the ass, like right now, how, how it fucks up. Fucking encoding, it's not fucking buffering, lag, and all that bullshit. Everything you need is right on the cartridge, ready to go. No worrying about dealing about specs and bullshit, just put it in and play. Hexen and Doom is 5-6 hour run to beat. 5 if you're fast. I forget, I forget how long I it took me. Three to four if you speed run. No, I don't I don't really speed run. Only when nobody else has done a run for the game, then I'll throw one up. Oh yeah, the multiplayer. Yeah, that's that, that's the good thing about it. Co-op and not just deathmatch. Yeah, I rented that back in uh, 97, 98 around there. Yeah, I played that uh, with my brother. Co-op. Just gotta get those raptor eggs. Now, the, the raptor area, you gotta be fast. And don't forget this rock up here. You need multiple rocks to get the objectives. No audio issues. Unless you use the old Oh yeah, that's the contradiction. You got more powerful uh, tech, but yet it won't play the game. One to two hours standard for the speed run. The Velociraptor family has many species, all deadly. The one on the island is a giant called Utah Raptor. Yep, there you go. Yeah, they they're originally I think they were basing the raptor on the Deinonychus, I believe it was called. There's controversy over the Velociraptor. They say it's a small one with fucking feathers. I see all the time. But uh, what they were looking for, they found the Utah Raptor, as though the one that it's supposed to look like the uh, raptors in the movie. So they're not supposed to be very fucking small with feathers. Utah Raptor was fast, Utah Raptor was fast up to 40 miles per hour, tremendous. and a tremendous jumper. Utah Raptor was, Utah Raptor was, a, kickboxing was a kickboxing dinosaur sharp with razor sharp claws on the front paw and back paw. Raptors had huge Raptors brains, had huge brains and they would work together in packs in hunting and for protecting their young. Utah Raptor had, Utah large, Raptor had large eyes, effective eyes vision. Ears Both eyes and ears faced forward so it could see and hear in stereo. 
Many smart predators today use burrows or caves to raise their young. Leopards do that, so do hyenas. Raptors were by far the smartest dinosaur predators. And if there were caves around, they'd take advantage of them for raising their young. Raptors were so smart that if they were alive in a zoo today, they would learn to recognize tools and weapons. Yeah, it seems they liked the name Velociraptor and they wanted to put it uh, onto uh, the dinosaur they wanted it to look like. And it seems that they just discovered the Utah Raptor, what they were looking for in, uh, I think, just before the movie was uh, released, around that time. Scared them off. Even though I don't really need it, I'm, I'm going to get it. Oh, yeah, what I need is the uh, the egg. Quick 64 on Switch from the free download they offer when you buy the game. Hmm. Didn't, did not know that. Oh, yeah, but anyway, I got Quake, uh, the authentic one. Alright, don't forget that rock, kids, over there. You, you're gonna need it. Need it all the rocks you can. It's a bit easier, but a fun version. Ah. Oh, you didn't beat Quake. Yeah, you need two rocks here, then you need another two rocks uh, up ahead. Gotta be quick, gotta be quick. I get the egg and then go up the stairs. There's like, uh, I forget how many chambers in here, how many rooms in the cave. That's why we need the night vision. We go right, get that rock right there, and then go up the stairs immediately so we don't get attacked by the uh, fucking things. The raptors. Yeah, there we go. I immediately look at this, then we dump our rocks in there. Then we got the uh, key for the uh, next room. Now what we're gonna do, we gotta be quick. We're safe looking at this. Go into the cave to the left before we're attacked. This area, take out the raptors before opening the door. Takes out the two, three. Oh! No! Oh, that's a close one. Keep them on screen. That's why you have the... 15 seconds. Motion detector. Door is opening now. now go past the cocksucker. Grab and then go ahead. And then the next area, go get the eggs and open up that thing. Just go past the raptor. Yeah, yeah, that's the whole thing about this. You gotta be quick so you don't get killed. Whew, alright, we made it. First try. I had a big problem in this area because you can easily get killed by those raptors. Let's get the hell out of this hellhole. Oh, I still gave it away free a couple days ago. Doom 64 and X for Hexen, along with a bunch of other games for the system. However, I have to search around myself because the yep disappearing games. Mostly uh, lose my uh, what a few games that got lost or were in a move. The 
fuck was that noise? We're almost at, at the end of the game. Oh, are, are, oh, are some of the uh, eggs about to die? Is that what that beeping is? Oh, I think that's what the egg indicator is. But I hope that that's the compies. Oh. Yep. Two of them died. That, that's what the beeping is. There we go. It's those compies that I got. But it doesn't matter. I got them all. Well, there we go. We've seen them dead. All right, we got them all. Save it. And we're at the final part. But before we do that, get your health up. Oh, it's in the extras. Mm, Switch version has motion controls. I, n I never tried them. Oh, PS4 has motion controls too. Oh yeah, and there's the... That crate was the uh, light vision for the wasp. You couldn't kill them all, those little bastards. Yeah, fuck them. Alright, save it. Save often. Yeah, the saving is glutton on memory. I'd erase everything just to play this game. Yeah, I can get that cartridge with more memory. But do I really want to do that? Biosyn's almost there. They've got some kind of a jammer on board, so this is the last message I'll be able to send you for a while. We found your transportation, sort of. Biosyn is a lot more interested in grabbing DNA than they are in hunting you. As soon as they touch down, they'll be moving fast, looking for eggs. If you're quick, you might be able to slip past them and take their helicopter. I'd love to see their faces when they see their ride lifting off without you. And you have to watch that to trigger the uh, them coming in. It isn't just bringing the last eggs and then that'll trigger them coming in. You gotta watch that video, so there you go. Yeah, we turned the left side this time. Changed it up. Almost done. An extra, say, half hour to beat this game with the fucking freezing. Had to restart this. Usually takes about an hour if you watch all those uh, cut scenes with the uh, on the kiosks. Now watch the skies, kids. So it does, the uh, chopper noise does go away. In great Q sound. Uh, they push the Q sound in the uh, Sega CD games. Make it like 3D around you. Go up there. Alright, now there's uh, four Biosyn guys. Two, uh, first, there's two of them, then one in, the, uh, in his uh, scuba diving, then the main hunter. Uh, the first two ta take a shot at them with the gas, then trank them. Over to the right. Take that. 
That was a lady. Alright, now we gotta get Scuba Steve. Double tap his ass. Alright, now quickly go back to where you were and get the main hunter. Oh, that wasn't too difficult. There you go, and we, uh, we beat the game. Get to the chopper! You blasted little foot. I knew you could do it. I knew you could do it. If anyone could get those eggs away from Biosyn, you were the one. Congratulations. I'll see you when you get back. And thanks. And thanks. I gotta thank me with your mouth when I get back. Me love you long time. Well, there you go. That was a fun game. Hard to beat if you don't know what your fuck you're doing, but uh, now you can find strategy guides or watch this. Sega Dress Park CD team. And like they said, it seems like none of the games got the license for the John Williams uh, theme to the game, as far as I know. Let me know if any of the games have the uh, John Williams main theme to Dress Park on the games. I can't recall. Yeah, because being a good hunter makes you immune to higher dosages of pranks. Yep. Art, John Bell, Dick Holmes. All names you can read. So this is made in America. Sega. Manual. Video. Sound, Barry Blum. Brian Corburn. You should know that name. He's the guy who made the soundtrack to fucking uh, Doom 32X. And Spencer Nielsen, who also did, uh, I think he did uh, fucking Sonic CD and, uh, yeah, yeah, Spider-Man vs. Kingpin, also good soundtracks. Dr. Robert Backer. Ed Annunziata. He made Echo of the Dolphin, which I'll be playing sometime soon. Also, he, had, uh, he did the Spider-Man game, which was made into the Sega CD game. Which I really like. He also did Mr. Bones, Three Dirty Dwarves. Uh, what else did he do? That was a good ending. Yep. Poachers and Littlefoot and an Asian lady. Yep. Uh, see, quick game if you know what you're doing. Oh yeah, I finally got my uh, hard drive, so we'll be back to our regularly scheduled program with the N64 finishing off Pokemon Stadium. But uh, first, I'm going to do Demolition Man on the Sega CD. I don't know, maybe tomorrow, maybe the day after, whenever I feel like it. And then we'll be back to the N64. Ah, <laughs> Tommy Tallarico, he did special thanks in uh, Demolition uh, and Sega CD. We'll see him when we uh, play that game. Now he also did uh, Terminator soundtrack, which I really like. Yep, everybody's favorite guy, Tommy Tallarico. Three Dirty Dwarves is a funny one. Still have it. I have the electronic game in monthly, but that. Oh yeah, that's how I found it. it had that big ad. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, I've seen it in uh, Ultra Game Players and the other magazines. Yeah, it's a good one. I do have that game. Maybe one of these days I'll stream that. Probably, yeah, uh, I, I got a new one, uh, Namco, uh, Museum 64. That's probably gonna be a controversial one, because technically the games don't have any endings. 
uh, one of the uh, guys do developers during that time he said uh, uh, you don't win you just lose with a higher score so that's probably gonna be the goal just get the highest score default scores on the games well actually pole position does have an ending you basically get 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 to finish the fucking game the four, three or four laps and then uh, you can technically get an ending well, well, you'll see when we do it. Been playing Glover yourself. I have yet to play that one. Watch someone beat Beavis and Butthead do you adventure game on PC. And it's at Tommy Tal Rico Studios in the ending. Yeah, he, yeah, he's done done some things. I think didn't he make some games besides just doing the music? Yeah, I remember the, uh, the, uh, Beavis and Butthead game Virtual Stupidity. I saw that in the stores. Never bought it, though. You get the Asian lady in position for your pole. Yep. Exactly. That's why it's called pole position. and butt head made you laugh so hard yeah I haven't seen that one maybe one of these I play I played the uh, Super Nintendo and the Genesis version those those are the ones I played I haven't played any of the PC versions Here's some. When Sega had their own uh, fucking ratings board, GA. Yeah, before the ESRB. Rated by the VRC. Appropriate for all audiences. Even all that fucking Newman being fucking eaten to death on that phone call. <laughs> yeah, the movie was PG 13, but if it, the. If they made the novel uh, into the movie exactly the way it was, it'd be rated R. Yeah, here we go. Here's Q sound right here. See the uh, thing? It makes it uh, fucking 3D all around you instead of just being in front of you. It feels like the music is around you and what's going on is around you. Virtual stupidity. A new movie is almost... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I saw the uh, trailers. Beavis and Butthead do the universe. Yeah, I remember they said they were going to do a sequel. That was, like, back in uh, the mid-90s. They said they were going to do a sequel. And, uh... Took two decades. Don't go on the three to do it. Oh, look at this. The travel arrows. Uh, it looks like they uh, changed the travel arrows. Uh, right here. It's, yeah, they have the, the, the cock rings on them. The little circles. That wasn't in the game. and It's just the triangles. Yeah, looking at the manual, you see what they were originally going to do. But they changed it. Well, this was a good one. I saw it in the magazines uh, back uh, when it came out, uh, but of course I didn't get it until like fucking 10 years later when I finally got the Sega CD in like 2004, around there. 
Uh, this is a good one. I'd recommend it. Uh, it's a puzzle game. Point and click puzzle game, so it be a pain in the ass at times. Not knowing where to go. But uh, I'd recommend it. Uh, and Brian Corburn on sound. Oh, Corburn. Open for a King of the Hell movie next. See you. You see the Starfield presentation. Uh, I've heard of it. I haven't looked into it. Uh, how, how's that game? Is it supposed to be good, or is it uh, supposed to suck? Is there any controversy behind it? Yeah, I think uh, after I get a response, I'm going to shut this down, and I'll see you guys on the next live stream. So I guess final comments. If you got anything left, then I'm going to shut down. It looks like the stream is better. It hasn't had a uh, problem since uh, 9.27 p.m., which is almost an hour, so I guess we figured that out. Well, Bethesda in general has been annoying people with Fallout 70... I know that one seems to be sucking and stuff. So, who knows, Lamp Out Loud. Else may be okay if, you don't, if they don't gonk it up too bad. See you on the next live stream. Yeah, I'll see you, Sunny. Uh, see you, Dave. See you, Din, and uh, everyone else who's still here. I'll see you on the next live stream, which is probably gonna be Demolition Man. Then we'll get back to Pokemon, the N64 games, and rest in peace, Newman.